Even if you're in Tokyo just for a few days, it's 100% worth visiting the Team Lab Planets. This mind-boggling, immersive digital museum is a wondrous thing to experience. So stay tuned for my tour. Here we are, Team Labs. Remember to book your tickets online because it fills up really quickly and you have to go at the allotted time slot that you choose. Let's see if we have our minds blown today. In this museum, you will walk barefoot as you experience the artworks with your entire body. If you are wearing a skirt, your underwear may be visible. After depositing your shoes and belongings in the locker room, it's time to roll up your pants and walk up the waterfall, up to the shiny part. After this, you get a towel to dry off your feet and it's off into a very dark room. In fact, it's pitch black. And in this room, the ground is made of a very weird soft material. It's kind of like walking through snow. Then it's time to go to the infinite crystal universe. I'll let speak for itself. It was an astounding experience, I have to say. It was really special. This crystal maze with the music and the lights really made you feel like you were somewhere special. And after that, it was time to roll up your pants again and get knee deep inside this water. The water looked milky, but there were a lot of projections all over it. And I have to say it was my favorite part of the whole experience. <laughs> Next is a room, or should I say a planet, full of balls. Some of them float, some of them roll around, but when you knock them, or when you hit them, they change color. There are a lot of good photo opportunities in here. Then it's time for a break, where you lie down on the ground, and let, I guess, what is a rain of petals fall all over you. It does uh, make you feel very tripped out, I have to say, so spending a lot of time in here will definitely make you feel like you've consumed something. It was quite fun, but it did start to get a little bit crowded. Then it was off to what I call the egg garden. This was a very cool little place. There were all these funny egg things that would move a little bit sometimes, or if you touch them, of course, that too. The mist, the moss, very otherworldly. I really like this place too. The second garden was a hanging garden. There was a mirrored floor and there were lots of orchids and other plants hanging from the ceiling which would move up and down with some kind of mechanism allowing you to pass through some areas and you would turn around and suddenly you wouldn't be able to leave the way you came in and so you had to do a little bit of ducking and waiting. It was very very cool and the flowers were very beautiful. Definitely a place to spend a lot of time as you can see everybody's lying around and having a good time. Extremely interesting. As you can see, they're moving up and down. So sometimes you get trapped and you have to wait. Now I'm being, I'm being released by the botanical beasts. Oh, here's a, here's a way out. There I go. That was 100% worth it. I'm not an art kind of dude, but uh, yeah, that's very good. If you uh, want to basically have hallucinations without taking drugs, it's a pretty good place to go. It was very fun. So yes, off to eat something now. Join me next week for a little shopping and eating tour around Tokyo. Hi. Not every day that you, you eat fish sperm, so... 